y'all. It's Cindy Cobb with Around the Town of the South, and I am sitting here with three people that I actually have known Jana for a little while, but I've connected with these three, and I'm so, I mean, I just love what you're doing, number one, but number two, to be able to meet you and hear your story about what you're doing is just amazing. So me, I'm sitting here with Jana, Betty, and Chris Fuss of Vintage Market Days of Mississippi. Um, they have a big event coming up, but I personally don't know what Vintage Market Days is. And so when I was talking to Jen, I said, we've got to do a story on this because I want our audience to know, I want people to know what you're doing, what it means to Mississippi. So tell us a little bit, Jenna. Welcome to the show, first off. Thank you. Glad to be here. Awesome. Tell us a little bit about Vintage Market Days in Mississippi. That is a great question, Cindy. Vintage means a lot of different things to different people. It can be, some people are familiar with Chip and Joanna Gaines and their show Fixer Upper. Uh, it's everything from furniture to actual antique items. It is home decor. To some people, it may be uh, architectural salvage, it, handmade crafts, it's, it's a variety of things. But Vintage Market Days actually is an event that started in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 2011 when two ladies wanted to have a pop up vintage market in their area. Awesome. So, when you think of vintage, I think of different things. What all is in that realm to you? We have, we will have everything from jewelry. We will have home decor, greenery. We have um, beautiful linens. There's uh, signage, antique signage. Oh. Um, I'm just trying to go through some of the vendors as I walk through the show. It is really such a variety of items, not to be vague, but there's really something for everyone. There is, clothing. So how did y'all come about uh, acquiring this franchise? Well, that is a good question, and Betty is going to be the expert to answer well, on that. <laughs> uh, many, many, many moons ago, uh, I was a registered nurse, still am, but anyhow, I, I did antique shows, and I've been in the antique show business for over 40 years, and um, I love doing shows, but this I really got peaked because here we are in Vintage Market Days, and I attended my first Vintage Market Days about five, four or five years ago, and I so fell in love because I had all these things at home. But early on, um, I took all the kids with me. Chris was a little tight at the time, <laughs> and I had a garden out back, and I always took the green beans and lima beans and would freeze them for the family. And one day I went out to get my lima beans and they were all gone. <laughs> and I thought, wow, what happened? <laughs> and about a week later I found out, uh, I was at the grocery store and this neighbor said to me, those were the nicest lima beans I bought from Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so right then and there I knew he was a salesman and he liked gardening. <laughs> that is hilarious. Entrepreneur at such a young age. <laughs> yes, yes. So that is, that does bring me to this question because most of the time you see women there's, and there, I know there's men that are involved, but this is a family thing, and y'all mm -hmm. absolutely love it. Chris, uh, I have to ask what your role in this, and you know, what piques your interest to be able to want to do this, instead of like, right now they're hunting, they're fishing, they're golfing, they're doing all kinds of things, and you're doing vintage market days with your mother, which is awesome, and your wife, which I think is great. Tell us why. Well, I'm super excited to do it. Um, we've always entertained, we've always done a lot of events, um, you know, and to me, this is just a big party, uh, you know, on a lot bigger scale with vendors and, you know, a lot of logistics. So I get to, I get to do the logistics part of it um, to make sure, you know, vendors are set up and stuff. But what's really cool about it is, is it the variety that's there. Um, you know, you've got uh, live music, you've got uh, food trucks, um, which I've been in the restaurant business for a long time. So uh, that's really cool to be able to bring uh, some unique things to the area, some from out of town, some from local. Um, the live music part, setting up the staging area, uh, you know, to make sure that's a, a cool event for people to hang out and eat, and um, also be able to uh, listen to some live music. Um, so logistics set up is really my big part, Cindy. Awesome. Um, but uh, you know, the fun part is the party part. Um, you know, I, I like to be a host, and, and I like to uh, you know make sure everyone has a good time. So I'm definitely a people pleaser. I love that you said that because I've been doing events well all of my life since seventh grade. I used to do all the birthdays at Ken's Pizza growing up. I set that up. When you have the event and you have the vendors and you have the doors open when it's finally ready just to see what you've worked so hard. You see the people coming in and enjoying what 
what y'all put together. That's when you know this is it's, it's a success, no doubt about it. So, Betty, I have another question for you. Sure. When you were, I know that you were going and helping in Mobile with some friends okay. with the Vintage Market Days. Tell us a little bit about that experience and what, what that led you to say, Jenna, come and help me, and how Jenna really found this too. Uh -huh. Well, uh, a lot of times Jana will tail along with me, just like Chris did. <laughs> and so, anyhow, I love, what happened when I went to Mobile, what intrigued me so was the, the atmosphere of the show compared to an antique show. Here you have food, all, you have entertainment, you have all, everything runs the gamut in the show. Mm -hmm. And so Jan would help me, and then she would also do, she's a great shopper. <laughs> she yes. would go and shop. <laughs> That's all we knew. Definitely. It takes experience. <laughs> but what I like was, their things are so unique. It's not only, you have dealers that are coming from near and far. Right. And you can't go anywhere and find what they have at the show because everything is so unique. So Jenna, you all decided to buy the franchise and you're having your first event, is that correct? That is correct. So tell us a little bit about, the, I know you're so excited. We are. It's like birth and a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it is. We, this is not a new event to the market, but we were able to keep it in the market. But we hope to expand around the state. But it's going to be held October 25th through 27th at the Mississippi's Trademark. Um, the doors open at 10 o'clock. You can go to mississippi.vintagemarketdays.com to buy your tickets, which we really want to encourage you to buy them online now um, because there's some perks that go along with that. Not to, we're going to be revealing more information later, but one of them is you don't have to wait in line. Oh, that's a big perk. And, and we, we love it. perks, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Well, um, I wrote all of the information in the description for you to go find their Facebook page. Check, check them out and what they're all about. Also for the event, I put the Facebook uh, uh, event page on that and also the link that she just told us straight to the website to buy the tickets. So you'll be seeing us over the next six weeks promoting this and, and I'm sure you're gonna be promoting some of your vendors. That's gonna be fun yes. to watch. Y'all go like their page on Facebook and Instagram, follow them on the website because you never know they're gonna have a surprise. Like we may get some tickets away next week to this. That's right. And one thing I failed to mention is actually the price of the tickets. Oh yeah. They are fifteen dollars, but that gets you in the whole three days of shopping. Fifteen dollars for three days. Yes, fifteen dollars for three days. That's a bargain. Absolutely. So girls, this is a girl's day out. This will be so much fun. What are the hours? 10 to 5 on Friday and Saturday and 10 to 4 on Sunday. This is a great girls lunch day out. Absolutely. Shop. Bring your tribe, girls. It'll be so much fun. I can't wait to see this because I've never been to one. I mean, I'm a shopper too, but um, I've never been to a vintage market day. So I can't wait to it's see It's going to be a blast. Anything else y'all want to share with our audience before we pop off? Well, I'm looking forward to it. Y'all, I know it's early this morning, but I wanted to come to you before football season and football season kicked off today. Share this post with your friends. Share them and let them know what's going on right here in our state. I love that people bring things here and that we get to experience other people from all around their vendors' things. I think that's great. It just brings in so much, um, not just people, but how they live and where they are and what they like. And I have to say, our vendors bring it. So y'all are going to be blown away. <laughs> awesome, y'all. Make sure you check all this information out on our, in the description, like their pages, follow them. And then if, there's, if you have a question, ask them, they will answer it. Or you, if you want to know anything about the event or what to bring, who to bring those things, contact them or contact me. Y'all, thank you for watching, and we'll see you around the town.